6 uh, with the corrections, corrections uh, mostly grammatical words. <laughs> Dramatical or Dramatic. grammatical? Dramatical. Oh, grammatical. It's okay. It's I'm, I'm, I'm Rachel's not going to second. So I can't. No, I. That's right. I'll second it. There you go. Any further discussion? All oh, those in favor? Aye. 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 So it's four zero one. Yep. Correct. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to move the, re review the mail uh, to later on. Is there anyone in the public that has a comment to make about anything that's not on the agenda this evening? I don't see anybody else. Okay, so the next thing is we'll move on to a schedule of the 2019 fiscal budget items. Do you have any, does anyone have any more information on that? I don't, I don't think we have any. I do not. Is it in there? Hmm, I thought we resolved it last meeting, but maybe I think not. I don't see anything in there. Record things? I saw something in here. Well, I'll tell the select board that we'll keep the budget the same as last year, and I think that would be sufficient. I think we had extra money left over, and whatever that fund is that we get from applicants is still sufficient to handle all of the expenses that we have. So, Right. Okay, our new business. We have an ANR 123 River Road a plan to deed several small parcels to neighbors to prevent adverse possession. Like Would it be fair to say that we're continuing our schedule for our, our FY19 stuff till next month? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, All right. Makes good well, sense. yeah, we, we, can, we, we can, can always alter. Uh, I know the select board's going to be working on the schedule uh, this Wednesday. Okay. The schedule, I'm sorry, the, the budget. All so uh, it probably will stay the same. But if there's anything oh, that's that we good. decide needs to be changed, there'll still okay. be time to adjust that. Uh, Jerry, do you want to come up and tell us? They're giving their land to their neighbors, it said. I know. That's generous. <clears throat> Anybody want a picture of this? Sure. Yeah. So what's the deal? Okay. What's the gig? Well, it depends on, let's see, the narrow piece is uh, parcel A. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, that piece uh, developed from uh, Roger Sadowski, which lives in the house there, um, or owns the house. Um, very difficult for him to work on his place without me allowing him to come on to my land. and. In talking with the realtor at the age my wife and I are getting to be, we got to make sure that everything is done and everybody's happy. And right away, a realtor feels uh, doesn't hold as much as, as giving the land, so there's ownership. So that six, six foot piece allows Roger to drive up through there with his tractor. Uh, and uh, and, uh, and be able to work on his house and barn. It's, right next to that. The other piece uh, comes from uh, an agreement way back on a handshake with his father that uh, the, uh, the line where the fence is is a line that was agreed upon by previous owners. And uh, in the deed that we received goes right to the center of his pond up there which blocks off all the access to his land above. Uh, so we thought we should straighten that out and we gave him a little extra so he could get a bigger piece of equipment up through there. Uh, and that's P, uh, P, parcel number B, I B. think. Yes. C is over on the other side. 
It's Gunther and his wife. And uh, uh, years ago, I hadn't noticed it, but he built a, a patio out there on, on uh, a ledge. And uh, I, I have no way of getting to the ledge unless I walk up the backside of my property. And he said, well, I'll take it out. And I said, no, it fits your house. Why don't you just keep it? So that's going with this. So there's three pieces that are going. Okay. okay. Um, it's far more of an explanation than it's necessary. is necessary. Yeah, it's I, I, you came in with an A&R. Um, uh, you you want to, you know, whether you're going to, what you're going to do with it is really none of our business. Um, you know, they're, obviously they're not going to be building lots, but that, you know, that's um, something that the building inspector takes care of if somebody right. ever came in for a building permit. So um, I make a motion that we endorse the plan. Mm -hmm. Second? I second. I'll okay, who seconded it? Rachel. Rachel. Okay, John and Rachel. And Rachel. Any further discussion? No, I'm going to abstain yep. from the whole discussion yep. or voting. All those in favor? Say aye. 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 Abstain? Yes. Okay. So just kind of tidying it up. See, there are still good people up in the world. I said there are still good people up in the world. He's two, at least. Neighbor. We can count two. No, 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 it's up here. <laughs> Well, I learned from my first project I ever built uh, from the engineer's name was A. A. Solander. And uh, we had 100 lots that we were dividing out. And he said, you know, one way to keep your neighbors happy, he says, we got plenty of land here. We'll give each of them on either side a little land. So they've been friends ever since. <laughs> and we've done that on all our projects. So, and what was your name again? Jerry Gates. Jerry or Gates. Gerald Gates. J E R R. J yeah. It's on the. Because I think it says Lois Gates on here. That's. Yeah, that's Lois, wife. my wife, yeah. owns, owns okay. the property. Yep. I don't want to interrupt you. Do you want to sign this? Sure. Let's sign. Somebody took my pen. John? No, I actually gave oh, it, it back to you. All right, you're right, you're right. It's kind of bad. <laughs> I'm not sure how many copies come back to us. We, we're going to have to record it. I think we keep two and you get the yeah. rest of them you back. Get, you get the right, mylar. you get the mylar. And, um, yeah, the mylar goes left. to get filed. All right, and then the CD you keep. Yeah. Yeah, the easels always keep the birds away. <laughs> is there more copies down there or is that it? We got, we got, we got a couple. yeah. Okay. Yeah, once you get them all. And then you want my pen again. Yeah, I, I will need your pen. There you go. Here he is. Oh, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> I second it. <laughs> Come on in, John. Oh, you got a quorum That's right. Sorry about that. No, you should have called. We would have told you to stay I know, home. stay home. Yeah. That's right. We Hope should keep one. I think you would be mad. Oh, yeah. We, 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 we can pick up two. all for me. He fell on the floor. Oh, we take the, the take the bottom yeah. ones, and we'll do, just keep them. Keep them yeah. Here we go. Did we sign enough copies for them? Yeah, that's going with you. Okay. Thank you, These John. Two. 
Well, there's on the outside. Is there a rubber band for that for him? Rubber. I didn't see that. I guess. Oh, yeah. It was opened on the table here when we got here. Next thing we're going to review bylaws related to the marijuana regulations. Great. Hmm. What bylaws do we have? Well, the only thing I know of is we set up a. We don't have. A, we set we an overlay district, didn't we? In yeah, the zoning, we, but that's not. We, we don't know what the new regulations are still going to be, so. So you want to table it? What do you think, John? I think we put it on there because it came up. Last month. Last month, and it's come up in a lot of other towns, so I think. I think it was a question about the moratorium or not to have one or right. whatever last month. Because the FERCOG was been kind of sending out information to a lot of towns about this, and so if. I think because it's not in the bylaws, is the question: Is do we want to review and add anything or not? I, I well, I, we already have our overlay district, and we have the town right. administrator who might have some some thoughts. She said she wasn't going to come to our meeting until she heard about yeah. it. Oh, it's here I can hear it in that room. <laughs> you know, just to clarify. Yeah. Did you finish your, your thought? You were speaking. Oh, I, I just said, uh, I mean, the overlay district. <laughs> that we currently have. It's specific to medicinal marijuana. Medicinal Correct. Marijuana. Correct. So basically we have to revisit for right. everything. Correct. So could it be as simple as D whatever we have for medicinal overlay? I think, we, I think we have to be a little more thoughtful. Uh, yeah. Discerning. We, we have to come oh, up with words. the lang exact language. Yep. Um, so I've got a lot of information about this. We, we were talking about perhaps uh, having a fe February town meeting to do this just to get in before the regulations go into effect in case someone comes to the town and we're not prepared for that to either yeah, collect exactly. the tax or to cite it properly or limit the number that we have in town. And that, that's what the bylaws give us the option to do. So say we, this again. So limit and set a, a procedure for taxing. Yes. And what was the third thing? You had three things. Um, and uh, site, limit it to, right. to where it could be. So site. another overlay district for it well, or something like that? Yeah. Some, I'm not sure what, if it's, I guess. What so. we would decide <laughs> to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I don't have that right with me because I was doing other things, but I heard the conversation, yeah. so I thought it would come back. And I think this, is a, to me, it seems a little different than municipal because it's cultivation and sales are two separate things. Whereas I think the medicinal one, it was it had to be under the same, mm -hmm. the same owner had to have both or both. something. No, I don't think so. Oh. Not with the medicinal. There was some. I it was, think yeah. there was some. Law, there was some connection, and I it think now it's less be. connected. And so I think, and today I think that in Berniston they're reviewing a site for cultivation. Right. They have. We've been approached by uh, several, yeah. and we're kind of because we have I, the host agreement with one. For one, it's sort of kept us, kept things at bay. Plus, nobody's gotten permitted yet to do the mm. a, a retail or adult use, or there's many terms people use. I can forward you whatever information I've had. I've shared it with the board. Well, like, there's um, a question, though, Wendy. Is, is it something that the planning board who should have a public hearing and act on it, or is it I think so, because I think you, wanted, you, you want to do zoning. Yeah. Right. Yep. Right. Similarly. And, and I think that it's something we should all think about and get done sooner than later, because it's my understanding that I'm not sure the exact date when this law goes into effect. Is it, is it end of April? Well, the or laws May? are in effect. What we're waiting for is this new commission right. to, to issue their regulations. And I thought it was April 1st, but I read something the other day that it might be. Push it off. Push it yeah, off. which is, well, that's why they have a, a $75 million budget, I read. They just keep getting money budgeted for this commission. Sorry. Um, any rate, um, we, yeah, I kind of hoped we would have done it. Um, by now, but well, um, what's concerning to me is that it was I was led to believe that if we don't have something in place and somebody applies for it, then we can't make them adhere to our regulations because if they applied before the regulations exist, so you know I think it's, right. it's so important. is the responsible thing not to have a moratorium until we can actually see what the regulations are because this is 
sort of I, I would actually the, suggest the Affordable Care uh, Act, you know, uh, sign, uh, sign the bill yeah, and, and then, then see what happens. Then then see what happens. happens. I had suggested that, that. but now we're getting closer and closer and, you know, so it might make more sense to just move we'll, forward we'll right into the and move ahead yeah. and have a open meeting already a town uh, open right. meeting in town january meeting. Yeah. yeah but if kip if kippy's what kippy what he's saying is true uh -huh. you'd almost want a moratorium so you once could, we did develop some regulations or guidelines that, the file. that they would adhere to them but if but somebody we, came in and applied we can't. If you we're don't not know a, what the regulations are, how can you? Yeah. I'm saying you have a right. moratorium, so you do nothing, John. So you wait for right, the regulations. Right, but that, that, that's out. only good for so. Right. You can uh, make we're it. We're saying the same thing. Yeah. yeah if you definitely. if you read, uh, most of the towns are setting a, a firm, you know, a date like June eight, June 2018. A lot of towns have picked. I think I forget right now because I wasn't prepared for this conversation. But you can have later dates. But I think the past practice of this town and the sort of policy it's been following is not to forbid it, not to have a moratorium, not a permanent moratorium. Um, plus, you can't, based on the vote of the citizens for in favor of this. Um, you'd have, it's a convoluted process, but my sense is the town wants to control and not, you know, not, not right. whatever. Not to <laughs> totally keep it out. Control. Right. So, um, so that might, might, as a short-term measure, a moratorium. But that takes a town meeting. Vote. Still takes a town yeah. meeting. Right, right. that is correct. Right. Which takes a public hearing. So we no, have a public um, hearing and see what this is. Well, out. I think either way we want to get public. Yeah. Right. Public either way. Exactly. Yeah. Input into it. So right. I, I think we could schedule a public hearing. Agreed. You can just keep it open. I will or submit in. I will uh, scan in and send you all the information that I have. If you feel that would be helpful. Yes. I don't know what you yeah. suggest. Um, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to be late on this, you know, I, I want to be ahead of it. Um, that's why I don't know what the rest of the board feels, but why don't we just try to, you know, Wendy will di disseminate some information to all of us and, you know, between now and our January meeting, we should have some time to read up on what we can find out. Then in January, we can have a discussion about it and set a date for okay. a public hearing. We can maybe do that in February. So we'll table it till January and then decide when to do from there. No, well, well, I think a public time, hearing in January to, to get the input of, you know, the, the flavor of what, you know, okay. people. I mean, I don't have any objections about it. I thought that we would just have a discussion uh, before getting the people involved. But yeah, well, they may have information that could be valuable. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know we're a brilliant group of seven people, but I, I, sure I think at are. this point there's people out there who know more about it, so get we, their yeah. input. Don't, don't rely on us to study everything. Yeah. Right, a public oh, hearing, we can keep it open. And yeah, sure. Okay. I have a lot of material, and it is complicated. I mean, I've had to have it repeated over, and I've gotten various legal, you know, all the attorneys. I went to the forum that the FERCOG sponsored with the Attorney General's office, and she couldn't answer most of the questions. Right. And it wasn't her fault. It's only because the regulations aren't out. But we, what we all came away with, and I, I've been suggesting this, that we actually do adopt a moratorium for whoever said it, <laughs> you know, just so that we're, uh, I think it was Roger who said this actually, so that you were prepared um, and, and not caught with unprepared, you know, with whatever you, the town decides to do. So. And having an open meeting does not preclude a moratorium. I mean, we can still recommend a moratorium. Exactly. Just sure. getting the input from other folks, I think, keeps this. Well, that would be interesting to say, you know, discussion. to hear people say, we, we would like a moratorium right. or not, or. Well, they want to know more. And so potentially knowing more means that if you hold off this process of making these kinds of, um, regulations, you just have a more informed decision down sure. the road. You don't do it precipitously. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we felt with medicinal marijuana, we were under the gun, and we put in a lot of long mm -hmm. hours here, but I, we don't necessarily and need to. You learn from that, way. that yeah, you know, in some to. ways, you're ahead of the game than other towns, because you've learned from that, we, having yeah, done we that. Looked into, but that took mm -hmm. a lot. That took now, a lot. are we the ones that decide to put this on the town meeting, or who does the the select, decides, the select board, the board decides, but they, yeah. the you know, you, does. on the zoning stuff, obviously, it works like all other zoning. Put together. Okay. So, a proposal. But so the then, tax so then is a, to, the amount to of tax would be something. Maybe it could be a joint planning board, select board. No pun intended. Hearing. 
I didn't actually get that myself, and I usually am good at that. Joint. that thank you. Good. Thank you, John. I won't repeat it. So, uh, uh, you know, two meetings together um, to, ha to have the fuller conversation beyond the zoning issues, the tax issue, together. and all of that. So. Just keep rolling. Well, we did talk about the taxes last month. I didn't put it in the minutes, but we did talk about it in this, what, 3% or something? Yeah. I that's mean, the most, most and that's, are, yeah, that's yeah, what the towns, towns are doing. doing. So I heard the woman from the Cannabis Commission was at the Chamber of Breakfast last month, and, and someone asked her about that moratorium, and she said, I thought she was going to say you should do it, because she's actually the woman who wants to kind of be careful with this. But she did say the other side of the argument is that you, don't, you might miss out on something. So if, in fact, you put a moratorium on, and then a farmer wants to do it, and you have a moratorium, they might go somewhere else, right. and then you lose the opportunity. Right. So there is some pluses and yep. minuses. So He's right. I think, You're I think right. A, but that would give us some thorough time. Thorough hearing of it would right. be get, both, well, we, get all sides of the. Yeah. We had talked at the select with the select board meeting at that meeting um, about having a shorter moratorium than other communities, which showed which indicated an, an interest and willingness. But yeah. you know, people have been coming to the town, and we've indicated that. Yeah. You know, we're all we've got right. a place that's already permitted and, and for taking all of these slots together. And it's it's true that you know <laughs> Deerfield because of its central location, location is going to end up with some of the fallout if our neighboring communities have this. Um, so we should benefit from the, the money, but we, we don't know what the regulations are, so it's hard for us to set rules that we might find are all illegal, but we don't, we don't want to miss it, but mm -hmm. we don't want to get caught either. And I, and I don't feel that it's a good position to put the town in to have somebody come and apply and then not have anything in place, then they don't have to abide by mm -hmm. the, any rules that we have. So, you know, I, I'm leaning toward a short-term uh, moratorium to at least give us time after we know what the regulations are. And at this point, we don't even know when that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I think that the state will be on their game as far as getting the final rules before they have to turn it open, but I don't know. Yeah, on the other, we kind of jumped, and then, then we were asked to redo it after that because it wasn't right, you know, on the, mer on the, the medicinal. What was, I don't remember it being I, right. I thought it went. I thought we did it perfectly. I thought we did, too. I was feeling pretty good. <laughs> no, no, we did it. We did it, but then they then no uh, Dick Kalashevsky <laughs> came in, and he wanted to change it to something else. But we didn't. We had a, we went right up to the edge. We went right up to the meeting of the, before the, we met before town the meeting. town meeting. Oh, right. mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Very, uh... I'll try to Stop. sift through all that I have and only get you something that synthesizes it so you're not going. Oh, yeah. Last. So if we do a town meeting, we just need to have a um, subject, I guess. So just, I don't know how broad we can be, but to... I think that... To consider regulations concerning... You mean for the hearing? For the public hearing. Oh, okay, yeah. you said town meeting. Oh, you sorry. Meant the well, yeah, the we said, I thought you did. We actually have had our public hearing the day of the town meeting before. No, I'm, talk, I'm no, talking about this. This has to be. Oh, oh okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm back to present. For January. Yeah. <clears throat> to consider, well, can we have a, a town meeting to review uh, the town's. Uh, bylaws and regulations for. To consider regulations you know? versus moratorium. I would just say to, to, to hear that, you know. Uh, discuss We're the options and comment. hear from the public yeah. uh, oh, proceeding forward with right. um, yeah. retail yeah. sales of marijuana. The big when do you, the right now, is there any applicants for the municipal marijuana sites? Is there anybody... Any applicants right now? We have people talk, coming to us, but we're sort of, we, we're also still working with the um, New England Patient Network with the, the medicinal, and that is a big question. I'm not saying for them necessarily, but whether the medicinal folks are want to gonna are going to want to expand what they're doing, since they've already been permitted and they can jump through the next hoops more easily, so I think they're weighing that. I can't say that for sure. So there's we applicants haven't... that have been permitted for medicinal or medicinal in right. the Deerfield. Yeah, next yeah. to the final markdown. Yeah, the New England Patient Network. Remember? I thought that was redrew. Oh, they they withdrew their application. Well, for the site, but they still have the they still have right. The we still have the host agreement. Oh, host agreement. Yeah. And then that was kind of, I don't know if it's a sticking point, but the permit was for one address. And then it is a sticking point. <laughs> a, different, a, a different applicant, or not, a same applicant, but a different, they wanted to move the location. Even though it was still within the district, 
the overlay district, it was still a different ad uh, address, yeah. so that would have, would need to be changed. But everything kind of came to a screeching halt, so nothing's happening. Right. It is a lot. Where do they on. want to move? I can to, back to yeah. the. Yeah, other that's one. fine. I just I thought that it was off the table. That's all. Okay. You answered my question. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Alrighty then. Thanks. I just found the uh, the the letter from the FERCOG. Uh, with the legalization of recreational marijuana, there is much your town boards need to consider. This letter provides information about the possible next steps. So it's consider the moratorium, consider location, consider whether the town wants to adopt the tax, create host agreements. So, yeah. so this can be... That you, I can, can disseminate be, uh, that. that. That we have actually an, a letter from council that was specifically knowing what we are, have already done and what the intentions of the town have been written more closely to our our situation and that's broader trying yeah. to address all the towns in the county although it's more succinct so 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 are we deciding that we want to have a meeting next in january to to discuss this at all yes yeah. i'll have a meeting i won't be here um, are you going to puerto rico no texas likely texas yeah so january 8th would be <clears throat> the next meeting. Our next, well, the first is Monday. Is the first Monday holiday, so we go to the second. Okay, Monday, January eighth. Mm -hmm. I'll be back on the fifteenth, but you. Yeah. I will be com communicating, I so I can. On that day. I know you often have the second. Are you going Monday. to Galveston area, or are you I'll be stationed in Austin, Austin. and um, I don't know until I get there. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. Maybe I can yeah. switch that. You seem to know a lot about this. David Spade. Because I'd oh, really like to voice yeah. my opinion oh, on this medical marijuana. Barbados. On okay. all of it. It's, it's right. Well, that was somewhere in the yeah, recreational. Yeah. Now. Recreational. I know, but Virgin I've Islands. got some concerns about the medical. I voiced them last time. Also. I know. He's going back. I know. I came mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. So it would just be uh, during our regular meeting? Or are you going to have a special time? <laughs> well, that's a, that's a question if we think. Why don't we do a six o'clock and have that first? And if I mean, is this something? Is the select board we talking about this? Did, would they want to have? We a, are um, joint meeting? a joint special meeting, or it fine. Public, I, you know, I can talk hearing. with the other one, uh, Carolyn. Trevor is going to be out of commission for a little while, but I'm going to be I'll, back by then. <coughs> yeah, by the end of into, uh, I would say Carolyn and Trevor would come to that. So I don't oh, that's know good. That. Would you want to do it at six? Is Sounds good to me, if I remember. I'll okay. hate those meetings, I always forget. You want a wake-up call for 6 p.m.? I'll text you. <laughs> Rachel? Just always forget. Rachel, would you like a wake-up call for 6 yes, p.m.? Yes, uh, maybe I'll call the concierge. <laughs> Dang it. Yes, I think 6 o'clock is smart. They have these new phones out. These days, <laughs> <laughs> With calendars in them? Put it in so and I, it like I will try like to scan what I think would mind. be most useful to you. I'm on it right now. Oh, you've got one of those. Yeah, okay. that'd be great. Thank you. I'll see if mine does that. Thanks, Wendy. Anything else? No? Okay. I think so. Thank, Thank you, Thank you, Wendy. Wendy. Good. So which day? No, it has to be posted, January right? Eight. eight. Does that have to be posted somewhere other than just like our regular meetings? I think our regular meetings are posted where they're supposed to be. So this would be the same thing as that then? Yeah, yeah. but it would be good to do more outreach because you want people to come, sure. not, not yeah. just if they yeah. right. happen to see it in the hallway. Well, that's, so, what was, right. that's what I was asking. Yeah. Technically, this meeting needs to be posted anyways because it's not our regular first Monday of the month. Yeah. So. Maybe ask Andy to write a little blurb. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, put, like I, I say, get, a lot of towns are I'll doing it. Yeah. on our website when we still have mosquito stuff up there, I think. Do you think the mosquitoes have left yet? <laughs> no, I don't. I'll tell you, the ticks haven't. Ticks is still out there. Ticks is still out there. My the dog came off, in covered the other day. My new dog. Everybody wants to see a picture of my new dog? Sure. Let's see a picture so of cute. Dog. He's so cute. But I guess I say this about a, a lot of things I know, but you know, 350 whatever towns in Massachusetts are, are dealing with the same issue. And I just think it's crazy that all of us have to become experts read. in it and read, right, read. you know it's like let's yeah. see what the best practices are out there and sure mm -hmm. so hopefully maybe by then maybe get someone from the fur cog would even come and or or the mass uh, selectmen's union association or things like mass that municipal mass association, Somebody, yeah. association yeah. You know. and, and i think well they, they, that's happening in january sometime but I don't. I don't think that they're going to even know by then. I mean, no. Well, they're not. No. Right. But, but they'll gonna, know it's a, no, the issues a bit, and structure. Kind of, yeah. I think from 
from all the reading and stuff that I've, this is just my personal suggestion. Yeah. I think the town should in, should have a moratorium on this to at least go six months past the date of when we expect the stuff to come from the state. And that way we have an opportunity to see what other towns are doing. We'll have an opportunity to see what the actual regulations are and still be able to you know, get involved. I know, I, I believe Waitley has a moratorium, moratorium. now. I'm not yeah, sure a bunch of towns have done it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. Well, yeah. good. Now it's old business. <laughs> there you go. Moves. It's moot. It's moved. It's moved from oh, new business to old business. It's moved to old business. business. Yeah. Any other items? Did you already do the budget stuff? What? No. We put that off. You got any hmm. ideas for us? Well, we need to do it. Um, but I have suggested that we just do the same as we did last year. Yeah, no, that we voted on that. Submissions are due by December 22nd. No, this we didn't. This is our work. last meeting before that, so. Um, yeah, I was hoping to get a print. Is there anything in the box about how much we've spent this year? Nope. I looked. Here. Yeah. I can look, too. I'll give it right to John. He knows where to look. Take yep. it. Give it right well, to the guy. Right to the right. man. Because this I got, but that was a little while ago. Budget yeah. Oh, I can get that. I'm making copies of this now. It's a little long, but it's what the council wrote us. So oh. I can just hand that out to you. Okay. Well, I guess can you email it as well? Uh, sure. yep. Actually, Wendy, you could email that to me as well instead of, cause I think I already have yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing. That, so the thing we got from last month, is, well, we haven't spent a lot of our money. So I remember last year we, we requested a very small amount. Right. We, we reduced it by 2000 and, and I think we're fine with that because, um, again, we have our revolving fund. Account. So yeah. when we need to, we can go into that. And other things are paid for by applicants. And unless we see, you know, unless this medical marijuana thing or something is going to affect the higher consultants. Or the part-time um, um, the part-time position that we talked about last month. For yeah, but that wouldn't be direct, yeah, that wouldn't be in our budget. So. Oh, it wouldn't be. Okay, I thought it was. No, well, it's going to be like a multiple thing. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be. Gonna yeah. it's going to be for everybody, Dedict and us, and. Yeah, but that's a office yeah. staff position, not a okay. direct spending by the planning board. So. Just so. So you, what was it last time? Three thousand, five thousand. For a while, they were doing ten, and then we lowered it way down. It was seventy-five hundred. We went down to seventy-five hundred, and, went, and yeah. then I think it was five thousand. Yeah. What, what, before I forget, just so this board knows that the select board has approved um, a list of engineers as um, peer review consultants. Oh, so good. now we have, the town oh, has good. a list. So. Oh, and we'll, that we can pass that to an applicant and say, right. this is who we're happy to work with, pick yeah. one. Yeah. Right. I, I believe that there were about eight or nine individuals. Well, fantastic. Actually, that was a list that is maintained, Priscilla maintains, right. and it has a whole number of people, large engineering companies to one person operations. But what we had to do, apparently the State Ethics Commission has ruled that these small uh, consultants, one person, wetlands consultants and others, um, need to be designated special municipal employees. And we can only do that in towns under 10,000. Um, otherwise they cannot do work for non-town entities in the town for a year. Oh. It's just I, I, our council hadn't heard of it. It's kind of a new yeah. thing. It must have been on that 45-minute ethics thing that we did. Yeah, you don't remember? Oh, I... <laughs> no, it's, it was a fairly new interpretation. You were supposed to tell us about it. Did you go I, to it? I, I, no, I did. I took the <laughs> test. I took the online course and test. I was all about that. Oh, did you? don't have all the I, mean, I know y'all did that. that. Mm -hmm. all, all the things that could come up. So. It was... I, I made my students do it with me. <laughs> See, I, I don't... This says our budget is thousand dollars. It was spent uh, one hundred and seventeen, but that, that doesn't sound right. Um, wow. Well, we spent more than that just on the on the for cog, didn't we? No, I guess we I guess we did end up. Um, yeah, but so usually that's a technical assistance grant, or it's a uh, the applicant. It's usually a grant, so. So here, yeah, we requested uh, 
total appropriated was $1,000 for FY 2018. So we went from, back in 13, we had requested 15, and then 10,000, 8,000, 7,500, 7,500, and then 1,000. Because I think we kept looking, and we always had money left. And so they would just go back into the general fund. And so what we sort of said is, okay, why keep doing it? Just ask for a little. And if something special comes up six months into our year, we can go to the select board and say something came up. Right. And if we can use our revolving funds, we do. If we can't, then we go to make a special. Right. But I think there were many years there when we didn't, we knew we didn't use it. And now but our then there were years that we did actually use it when we did all that rezoning. Right. We there used it all. Then. But then we got it. There was a big grant for that, too. There was a technical assistance grant okay. to pay for a lot of that stuff. So... Um, yeah, in 2016, it said we, we expended $186 out of $7,000. Uh, hmm. Pretty thrifty. Was that for the ice cream social? I'm trying to think. Was that that? Well, what's the massages? Yeah. yeah, you have What's other expenses that we I absorb. You, I thought you donated that ice cream for that we have social. A, you have other expenses that <laughs> huh? we absorb in Didn't other you, ways. John? Legal ads, oh, mailings. Yeah. We had a special um, meeting over there. On, uh, yeah, uh, things like that. That's okay. I'm sorry, but um, that's okay. <laughs> we, you know, you do have other expenses, legal ads, legal c costs, um, mailings. You know, different things that come up, and we get absorbed in other ways. Mm -hmm. I'm try. I've been trying to. I'm tracking the legal expenses of various aspects, um, departments, and committees, and et cetera, projects. Um, but I'm also looking at a a um, that she calls it a flat fee. I'm used to the term retainer agreement with council um, where um, we would just pay a flat amount and um, it covers a lot of things including uh, collective bargaining um, and council would also come out for a day every quarter and spend a day here so yes um, but I'll, I'll talk more with the board about that I'm waiting for a written thing so but that could be helpful our questions and, yeah, yeah. right yeah. We, should, we should have Adam come out we have a lot of questions. <laughs> so, um, at any rate, I'm waiting for that to finish so I can hand it out to you. All right, so I move we, uh, we recommend to the finance committee or whoever that we, our budget be $1,000 for Select FY 2000. I second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 John, what was the move? What did you move? That we recommend, that we uh, request a budget of $1,000 for FY 19. Reducing it from five to no, 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 no. Last year one. we were it's one thousand. Oh, last year we reduced. We made the big reduction last year. Oh, okay. Just a budget of one thousand mm -hmm. dollars. And nobody who gave us a medal. Who made the motion? No, we thought we were going to be setting a trend, we but it didn't seem to work. Like, love us for that. Oh, you. Nobody it. sent me a fruit basket. <laughs> I'll see if the planning board. Who made the motion? I moved it. John, <laughs> wait. Who seconded? Okay. I seconded it. John, John. Oh, I thought I said it. Well, it's you, my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. So, my birthday. so wait a minute. Did you do it, Rachel? Did you do it, Rachel? Right. Yeah, exactly. Maybe 300%. <laughs> <300%. laughs> okay. Who, who's the official, who's the official seconder? Me. Okay, Rachel. You, I, yeah. Does, Cross I off John. This one. Thank you. It's my birthday. Okay. Happy, Happy birthday. And was it voted 5-0-0? Zero, zero? Yeah. Six. Six. John's six. Here. That's right. John showed up. While we were um, talking about other things, I went through the mail quickly, and there's... Uh, the, the only thing that is sort of pertinent oh. to what we're discussing is Town of Waitley on November 7th at a uh, open me uh, public meeting um, about their bylaws regarding the agricultural exemption of marijuana. And that's, oh. that's the only thing uh -huh. pertinent. So that, that Waitley has had that. Uh, the agriculture exemption what exactly that means, I'm not sure, but. To be consistent with a state law regarding, which is not clear anyway, the agricultural exemption of marijuana. I'm thinking that they wanna, yep. somebody wants to make it so marijuana is considered an agricultural crop. That's kind of the way that I, mm -hmm. my take on that. But if you could pass that folder down so it ends up in. Right place. So their meeting was what again? It was on November seventh. But what was the meeting <laughs> about? What was the gist of it? Um, about an exemption for exemption what? for agricultural 
marijuana. That's all it said. Okay. And to make it consistent with state laws, that was that was in there. It didn't wasn't very clear. State laws that don't exist. Oh, John doesn't trust me. No, he's looking at something no. else. <laughs> who went? Who went to the citizens trainer thing on eleven twenty nine? Aren't we all supposed to go to that? Everybody raise their hand. Dead. We can host one here. Yeah. Yes. We need to like be. Uh, yes. We need to really get it on our calendar. I think. Yes, we do. That would have, that would have been a good You're one. Right. I'll, I'll get you some easier to digest stuff, but that's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Yep. Yeah, I'd like to. Which? What would you like? The well, responsibility. Yeah, I mean that, that's. Planning uh, boards and zoning boards. Yeah. And unfortunately, oh, it was that uh, marijuana. Marijuana. Is it not? Yeah, see, that was okay. there. We I, can, yeah. I can ask whether we can sponsor one, especially, if, well, we're going to have a new planner on some <laughs> Yeah. That's probably the best. Hopefully he won't need to say training. Training. You is, you know. Experienced will be in the job <laughs> uh, listing. So, yeah. Yes. He or she, I'm sorry. Yes. I <laughs> I did too. Okay, I'll get you some more information besides that. Okay, of course. Well, if there's nothing else, someone want to make a motion to adjourn? I motion that we adjourn. I'll, I'll second, second that. Okay, All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.